Welcome back. We're almost through with our target band. It's looking pretty good, but we do need to link up our data labels to these lower target and upper target label cells that we set up in the last video. This is pretty simple. We just have to double click into the data label after it's already selected. Then we have these options for what the label can represent, but just select the one that says cell here. And then it asks for a cell reference. We can just reference the data label that's set up. So for the upper bound, let's select this cell for $13. And then that data label is automatically linked up, which is pretty cool. So we can do the same thing again, select the data label, then double click it once it's already selected, then press cell, and then we'll select that $10. And there we go. Now we have data labels for our target band. And we're almost done here. So we have the data label set up and we can actually align them using the Macabacus move data labels function, which is walked through in another video, but it allows one to very easily move each individual data label. We can see the series is referred to as upper, and then we can just select which data label we would like to move. One can be very precise in lining these up. It sure beats clicking and dragging using the native Excel functionality. There is a little bit of eyeballing still required given just the manual nature of how we set up these labels. That is looking really good. We can opt to bold them if we want them to stick out by selecting them and pressing Control B on our keyboards. And we could also take the grid lines out of this chart if we feel it's looking a little bit busy. And there we go. We've now set up a fully dynamic target band with data labels using Macabacus. We hope you found this one as useful as we do here at CFI. Thanks a lot. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.